Good evening, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for joining me and uh, my colleagues this evening. My name's Louise Church and I'm the delivery lead for school admissions. We are just going to give it a few minutes just to make sure we can. Um, we've got all the families and. Um, uh, giving them the opportunity to join us this evening. So we've we've got a rough amount that sorry we've we've got an amount that we are expecting. So if you don't mind just bearing with us a few moments, um, that would be really um, amazing. We are recording this. So, uh, you know, if any of your friends or families want to watch this at a later date, that will be um, no problem at all. It will be all available on our website. So I have the time as 19.03. I think we'll give it uh, a few more minutes. I can see the numbers are rising. Um, quite rapidly. So I've got um, two lovely colleagues joining me this evening. Uh, we're doing a broadcast for the first time ever, or well, certainly my first time. So um, we hope it's all going to be really, uh, really a smooth process. And uh, you'll all get lots of useful information out of us. So who would have thought? I'm sure most of you um, wouldn't have thought that you'd be thinking about school places at secondary school for 2024 yet. Um, but this is going to be a really important time for your children and your families as you get ready for your children starting yeah, secondary school. So uh, I think we'll give it perhaps just another minute. And then we'll be starting. So um, there won't be the opportunity to ask questions sort of, um, you know, uh, visually. We do have a question and answer panel. Um, available. It should be on the top right hand side of your screen. So we will hopefully, if, if you have any questions, be able to uh, to answer them. But without doubt, uh, our websites are um, full and crammed with lots of information that we're sure will be really helpful and useful to you all. So. OK, without further ado, I think we'll start. So uh, good evening, everybody. I hope you've had a lovely Thursday. I've been in the office all day, um, so I am home now um, with you all this evening. So just to give a very, very, very um, brief scope of today, we want to signpost you provide an overview of some helpful information and uh, if any of you've got any questions, provide an opportunity for you to um, ask them. Just to let you know, we're because this is all recorded, we uh, are, are not going to be able to pick up any uh, specific um, cases about your children, so it's all going to be very um, thinking about some sort of the broader questions. And this is just because we want to protect your personal information. So uh, I'll promise not too many rules. Um, we are going to record this, so uh, it will be available online. We are also going to share these slides for any of you that would like to see um, see them. And just, just, just remember, we're not going to be able to help. Uh, this evening with any sort of personal cases and this is just for data protection 
but don't worry, we'll signpost you on how we can help you if anybody needs that. So, who are we? My name's Louise Church. For those of you that might not have heard me say that earlier, I am, am the delivery lead for Warwickshire County Council School Admissions. I am joined this evening, although I don't think you can see Catherine, uh, by my lovely colleague called Catherine Carey, who's the technical specialist. So she knows all the answers. Uh, Catherine's our oracle. We have our um, brilliant Polly Dillon, who is our team lead, looking after all our staff. Kate Aston, who specialises uh, in our grammar schools, making sure, uh, providing support and help for our schools and families. And last but by no means least, we have our wonderful team of admission officers who are dedicated um, and committed to helping all of our families and schools. So for those of you that uh, are, are perhaps new to the county or this is your first time with uh, children starting secondary school, we thought it'd be useful to provide the names of the schools that you can apply for. So these are Warwickshire schools and we've broken this down into um, district and borough. So if I can start with Nuneaton, Bedworth, Atherstone, Coes Hill, Holsworth, um, we've named those schools here. For those of you that live in the south of the county, so uh, for example, Stratford, Kyneton, um, Ulster, we've got your schools here. Um, for those of you that live in Warwick and Leamington and those at Kenilworth, these are the schools in your area. And um, for those of you that live in Rugby, uh, please see the schools in your area here. Uh, so we have a lot of interest in the grammar schools in Warwickshire, so we've given just some very brief information here. Our grammar schools are based in the south of the county and in the rugby area. At the start of the test, we uh, always recommend when you're thinking about uh, schools and looking for information, go to the school's website. They've all got one. And we have a really useful website called Find a School. We've got the link here. And it talks about all Warwickshire schools and, and lots of useful, um, you know, basic information that should help uh, be useful and helpful for you. We've got some links here for those of you that want to do that research or gain that additional information and the QR codes uh, excuse me, that you can use for your mobile phones. So where do we start? We thought it would be useful to talk about uh, the number of places that schools have available for your children starting. So these are commonly known as people admission numbers or PAN, excuse me. And this is a number of places agreed, usually with the local authority and the Department for Education. And that kind of determines the number of children that will be starting with your child or children and can give you some indication to the size of the school, the number of years, uh, classes. Usually most schools have around 27 to 30 children in a class, but obviously that will vary depending on subjects and ability, etc. OK, so. We hope this is going to be something that you all really think about. 
In Warwickshire, we have an interactive map, uh, which we've given you the links for here, that talks about what your local catchment or priority score would be. And that goes right down to street level. So uh, I use it all the time. It, it's it's very intuitive. Um, the only thing that we would like you, uh, well, sorry, not the only thing. One of the things we'd like to, to mention that for those of you that may be moving address, don't forget to check uh, for the address that you're planning to move to, because that might be different to where you're living now. Um, we always recommend that families apply for their priority schools. In Warwickshire, you've got six um, preferences or choices for schools that you can make. And even if you're, you know, it isn't your uh, preferred school, try to include your priority school as a bit of a backup plan to ensure, you know, we try to get your child in a school uh, within a reasonable distance. So when we, um, Catherine and I uh, joined admissions at the end of last year and this was our first year sorting out school places and we were able to get 80% of children into their first preference and over 94% their first, second or third preference. For those children that didn't get any of their preference or choices of schools, that was 4%, they do still receive an offer of a school place. However, that offer is the nearest available school with a vacancy. So that's one of the reasons we really like to remind families to try to, if possible, uh, consider applying for their priority or catchment school. I can see the questions coming in, so thank you very much for those. We thought it'd be useful to uh, talk about some of the things we uh, we would like you to consider when applying for a school place. So first of all, apply online. It means you get to put all the information you're in the driving seat into your online application. And you can have up to six preferences if you're a Warwickshire resident. We ask you to please consider your priority school. Proof of address. So all families do need to provide that. However, if you're applying for a grammar school, you'll need to have that ready as well in uh, December. So that's where we ask you for further proof of address and that's two types of address. So, you know, please, please, please make sure you've got that to hand when first of all applying online and then ready for, um, if you're applying for a grammar school, ready for December. So for um, any Warwickshire residents, hello, and for any resident, uh, any people that have joined us that don't live in Warwickshire, you're also very welcome. Um, it's important to say you have to apply to your home authority, authority. So if you live in Coventry, you apply to Coventry, where you pay your council tax to. Don't worry if you don't live in Warwickshire, we will get your application. It will just be shared with us via a back office um, computer system. So all authorities in England have that um, same information sharing mechanism. So don't worry, wherever you live, we will get your application. But just remember to apply to your home authority. For those of you that uh, already have um, children, siblings at uh, a secondary school already and you're applying for the same school, don't forget to let us know. For those of you with children at feeder schools or partner schools, again, don't forget to put that in your application. And for those of you that are lucky enough to work in any of our Warwickshire schools, um, and that's a part of the criteria for the school, don't forget again to add your details in there. So, um, you know, you can apply up to the 31st of October to be considered as on time. We're going to open the applications in September. Uh, so you've got plenty of time. Don't leave it too late and make sure you've got, um, you've got, you know, you're able to sit down and do it 
and you've got all of these things to hand. So what do we think about choosing a school? So I have, um, I've done this four times and we thought it'd be really useful to talk about when thinking about schools, go along to open days or visit their website or, you know, arrange a visit to the school. You might want to take your child along, um, you know, whatever works with you and your family. Um, but by all means, you know, you've got time to make those uh, inquiries. When thinking about schools, you know, have a think about what subjects your child will want to uh, do for their exams. Um, if you need any additional support, what that pastoral care looks like and not forgetting uh, for those of you that like to do um, extra curriculum, uh, what schools do in terms of their after school activities, you know, all of that research is, you know, some of the things, you know, that you, that you may want to think about. So this is a real big one. We get lots of questions about this. When thinking about schools, really research about if it's not your local or, or catchment school how is your child going to get there so are they able to walk there is there public transport will you be able to drop them off before and after work you know any anything you know this is not an exhaustive list you know just really have a good think about what getting to school is going to look like as mentioned before for those schools that require that additional information, um, again, that will be on the website. Don't forget to make sure you provide it. And, um, you know, probably um, something that we would want all families to think about. You know, what does that criteria look like? Most schools will always be oversubscribed, so we're going to have to use that criteria. What does that criteria look like? And of course, not forgetting what are their emission arrangements and they'll be on our website and the schools. As mentioned before, if you apply online, you'll get your results back online. Uh, it's really, in my opinion, of course, uh, it's really easy and, and, and um, hopefully uh, we'll, all of you will be able to do it online. We've got some links there. However, saying that, those team, my team are here to help and support. So if anybody needs any help, pick up the phone. We're here to help. We thought it'd be useful just to remind you again about that proof of address, especially for grammar schools. You know, be prepared. You know, some of you might need to to request additional documentation or council tax, um, you know, anything like that. Always remember uh, about that proof of address, check the emission arrangements to see what you need to provide um, and, and just very much be aware of it. So, next year, National Offer Day, uh, which is going to be the 1st of March. This is probably one of our, mo no, uh, this day is the, uh, and National Offer Day for primary schools are the most exciting days of our year. And I'm sure you'll share that with us. So National Offer Day will be the 1st of March. We will let you know uh, if you apply online via the parent portal and we'll also email you. There will be, the already is, but there will be more useful information on our web pages. And if we're unable to provide you with um, any of your preference schools, we will, don't panic, we will still give you a school place and it will be at the nearest available school with a vacancy. We'd like to take this opportunity to remind you of the importance of free school meals. Uh, so obviously they're a great resource there for your children. And they also um, they also open up other avenues of support. So that could be holiday clubs or um, where relevant vouchers and 
they also mean that the school get that additional funding. So if you haven't done so already, please, um, please apply and uh, and see whether or not you would be eligible. Um, you know, that would be brilliant. Thank you. Gonna have a quick drink, give you just one second. Warwickshire County Council are committed um, to making sure you know we have the best outcomes for your children and families. And if any of you need any support, additional support at any point now or in the future, please remember that we are here for you. And a really great starting point is our family information service. So whether that's financial, whether that's, um, you know, you know, things aren't perhaps going quite so well at home uh, with your children, whatever that support might look like, you know, always start or think about our family information service. I know uh, most of the team and I can honestly say they are amazing. So please, please, please um, don't hesitate you know, please contact us. We've got lots of ways to contact us. Um, even if it is just that, you know, you're new to the area and you need childcare and you don't know where to start, uh, just remember the Family Information Service. So we've got another uh, QR code for your mobile phone and link to our website, which we hope that will, you will find really useful. And if nothing else today, if you can try and remember this, I would be most grateful. So first of all, you've got um, up to the 31st of October and we'll open the, open the applications on the 1st of September. Remember to apply, ideally online. You're with the driving seat. You tell us uh, all the information on your online application. Remember to apply through your home authority. So if you live in Warwickshire, you'll apply through Warwickshire. If you live outside Warwickshire, you'll apply to wherever you pay your council tax to. If perhaps your local school isn't going to, your priority school isn't going to be your first choice, at least try and include it in one of your six preferences, just as that bit of a, a backup plan if we're not able to offer um, your other preferences. It's not a guarantee of a school place, but it just um, it just increases your chances of getting um, a priority school if we're not able to offer any of those. And don't forget, if you live in Warwickshire, uh, we really, really look after you. You've got six preferences, so you're welcome to use them all. And please don't think that if you only apply for one school, that means you have a better chance. Doesn't work like that. Uh, we treat all applications fairly. You've got six preferences, by all means, you're welcome to use them all. So, um, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, this is the first time we've done it this way. So I'm going to have a look at the questions on the right and hopefully you won't be able to look at my nose if I get too close. Um, so I'm gonna have to look at the screen and hopefully be able to answer uh, these questions so if you, I'm just having a quick look. So uh, the first question is, is there a specific process for children who are looked after or children in care or have an EHCP? So children looked after or children in care or previously in care will apply in exactly the same way as I've described today. Uh, so it will be done online. You may wish to, if you're a foster carer, um, consider, you know, contacting other relevant parts of the family if necessary. But your social worker will be able to guide you on that. Uh, but yes, please apply online. Please tell us if the child is looked after because it just does mean that they get um, 
you know, higher criteria. If your child has an education, health or care plan, um, sadly, you won't be applying through uh, the admissions team. Uh, but the good thing is you get to apply through your uh, through your education, health and care plan coordinator. So in Warwickshire, that will be through SEMDAR, um, which is Special Education Needs and Assessment and Review Team. Uh, but they should already be contacting you, if not now, but but certainly very soon to start gathering that information from you. If your excuse me, if your child is under assessment for an education, health and care plan, please apply through us because that offers you the backup plan if, if um, you know the plan's not in place uh, for September next year. So. Children in care or looked after or previously in care apply through us. Children that have not yet got a plan, please apply through us. Children that have an education, health and care plan, you'll be applying through your education, health and care plan um, coordinator. Uh, so the slides will be on the website. Uh, we've actually given a link there. It, oh no, saying that you won't have the slides yet. If you um, go on to Warwickshire County Council and put school admissions, it will take you right to our front page and it will be there. Just going through the questions. So uh, can you apply out of county if you live in Coventry? Can you apply in Warwickshire? So the answer is uh, no. And this is really, really, really important because we don't want anyone applying to Warwickshire thinking that we've got your application because um, unfortunately we can't process it. If you live in any er any other area other than Warwickshire County Council, you will need to apply through your home authority. So that is where you pay your council tax to. So you live in Coventry, you'll apply to Coventry City Council. If you live in Solihull, at the Solihull Metropolitan Council, uh, Staffordshire, so on and so forth. So yes, please, please, please don't apply if you don't live in Warwickshire on our online portal because um, unfortunately we won't be able to process it and we don't want you to think that that's it, you know, your job's done um, and then, you know, be considered as late. So and don't panic again if you don't live in Warwickshire we will get your application and it will still be considered with everybody else's. Uh, it's just it comes in a different way. Uh, so somebody has mentioned about Oakley School not being on the map. It should be. Um, we will check that out. Um, and, and find that out for you. Oakley School technically isn't open yet, which is why it's possibly not on there. It opens in September. Oakley School this year is going to be on the Mighton site, but it will be opening in its entirety next year on its own site. So application will open on the 1st of September. So 1st of September to the 31st of October to be considered as on time. So put them in your calendars. Um, we won't be sending out reminders. Um, we need you to apply online 1st September between the 1st September and the 31st of October this year, 2023. Oh, yeah, so. Uh, so we have um, a mention about children who are in middle school. So this is, I think, relevant to Worcestershire County Council, where you have your school system slightly different. So you'll apply through your home authority um, and it will be called a year nine transfer, I think. So that's slightly different to what we're talking about today. Um, but all the same rules do still apply. Uh, you apply to your home authority. We don't have any middle schools in Warwickshire. I think it possibly it might only be Worcestershire. 
but go onto your local authority website and there'll be lots of information there. We will get your application, but it will be separate from um, secondary because we have children move schools from year six, their primary or junior school, up to year seven, which is the secondary school. Uh, so I've got somebody asking about applying for funded transport. Um, for, so usually, usually, so it does talk about children with education, health and care plans. Um, so I won't comment on that because you will be applying through your education and health care plan coordinator. For all of the children, if you need to apply for transport, whether that's free school transport or paid transport or a bus pass or whatever, you can apply from uh, usually from as soon as we tell you what school place we can offer your child. So uh, which is basically national offer day. So if you've applied on time, you'll find out on the 1st of March and then you can start applying for, pre, uh, for school transport and we will give you the link. Don't worry in the letter or email uh, that was sent to you. I'm going to quit more. No. So somebody's asked the difference between priority area and catchment area. Actually, there is no difference. Uh, my understanding is they used to be called catchment areas. We now call them pri priority areas, but effectively it is the area around the school, which means it's kind of been earmarked for your address. So schools, all our secondary schools are academies. So their admission arrangements and their um, their priority areas are all arranged through consultations and um, uh, agreed, you know, usually, you know, quite some time ago. And it basically just says the school that's been allocated to the area where you live. So priority, catchment, local school. Um, I wouldn't be too much worried about um, the differences. What's really important is it's the school um, that's kind of been allocated. And just to, to confirm, most priority areas don't go in a sort of direct um, you know, circle or line, you know, that they will tend to vary a little bit, um, but all that information is online. Just having a quick look to see if I've answered the question. Can I please just put down one school um, as you don't want to go to the catchment school um, because you're not very happy with that? Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. We love all our schools. Um, we think we think that Warwickshire County Council and we are biased. Warwickshire has the best schools in the world and I am biased. Um, so I won't deny that. So we're really sad to hear that you don't like catchment school. What I would say is don't take rumour as fact. Go and do that visit. Go and research the website. Um, you know, go to that open day. Don't don't ever dismiss a school because of rumours or or whatever. I would say make an informed decision yourself, uh, because like I say, we we get to see all of our schools and um, we get to meet lots of the the teachers and the children that go to those schools, and you know, we think they're all amazing, and I think you'll share that too. So don't make any opinions or views on what on rumours. Go go and do that research yourself. Please don't apply just for one school if you can help it. Try to have a few more choices. Like I say, most of our schools will have more um, children apply for them than places available. And we'd hate to give you a school that you didn't choose and you didn't want. Um, so try to use those six preferences and include the priority, priority school. So um, yeah, please, I'll leave that there. Uh, but that's only advice, obviously, uh, our advice to you. So will there be additional information on grammar school and uh, applications? So in truth, we have 
lots and lots and lots of information online. If you're considering a grammar school, you know, all the open days and all of that information is relevant. We've got lots of information on our grammar schools online. We have recently done a web webinar for grammar schools, so I'm sorry if you weren't able to to um, to attend that. But actually, the that webinar is online for you to have a look. So, I mean, all of our schools are important. We love them all. Um, we do have information on all of our schools, including grammar schools, online. Sorry, I'm sure I'm looking cross-eyed as I sit so closely. So I've got a family that live in Long Compton. Um, and you've said if you don't get your nearest school, is it possible we'd be placed further away? Um, in truth, absolutely possible. So that's why we say put those six preferences down. So if we can't give you your first choice, we'll look to give you your second, so on and so forth. If we make an unplaced offer, so that's the nearest school place, uh, school with a vacancy, obviously we won't know that until we've look to all applications yeah we don't know where we'll place your child so really try and use those six preferences um, and just remember do that research make those visits um, and and hopefully uh, you know you'll really be able to um, be happy with all of those schools should your child be placed at any of them So when do schools start putting out their open days and evenings? I mean, they've already started. So obviously they'll depend on schools. Some of them might do multiple visits or, or open evenings. So obviously the best thing to do is go on their websites. If, if you've got schools in mind and, and by the way, I know I've talked about Warwickshire schools today. Um, but this does generally apply for all schools in England. So if you're thinking about Coventry schools or or uh, Leicestershire, etc. You know, it applies to all of them. Uh, go on their website, sign up for any newsletters if, if they have them. Look for open days, open evenings, um, arrange visits, whatever, um, because they'll all vary by school, and um, and and it's really down to um, you all to kind of. Uh, you know, get involved as much as you would like. So uh, I'm watching this and then a little advance as your child is only year three. Well, well, thank you very much. I mean, yeah, we hopefully we've provided lots of information that will help you in the future. Um, I can't remember when I started thinking about my children's school, but uh, equally, you know, it's best to, to to start thinking about what you need to do and what you need to know. Um, and obviously, if your child's in year three, you could go to open evenings for the next three years if you wished. Um, so never too early um, to be prepared. So will the schools be providing dates of open dates yet? Yeah, we've covered that one. Yeah. Uh, I would imagine it'll all be on the website. So, um, so if your children doesn't get any placement, that won't happen. We have a legal ob obligation to provide every child who's applied with a school place. Unfortunately, it just might be, you know, if you apply after the 31st of October, so we consider your application as late or um, you know, you've put down a school that we're not able to offer that we might have to give you that um, that unplaced or not placed offer, which is the nearest available school with a vacancy. But yeah, we promise you we will give all your children a place. Um, so somebody's asked us to explain grammar school admission process. Right, I'm not going to go into um, that specifically. Uh, I think we have got a separate webinar that's online that you can go and have a look at that is dedicated for um, grammar schools and, and, and not because it's not important. Uh, this evening it's about all of our family of schools and 
you know, the admission arrangements all vary from school to school, which is why we say go and have a look at their admission arrangements. But generally, you know, apply online, make sure that you've provided any additional information, make sure that you have um, uh, got that proof of address. Um, do your research. These are inf information that are that is relevant for all schools. So, you know, we have got lots of additional information online. So we we love all our schools and um, I just want to keep this uh, relevant for all families this evening. So the allocation process, somebody would like us to explain that. I love this. I like to call this my. Um, well, no, I can't say it's like the lottery. That's not quite true. So basically what we do is we look at all children and their preferences. We then match that to schools using their criteria, the oversubscription criteria, which does vary school to school. Um, but just as an example, it's usually uh, children that are looked after or in care or previously in care. Children that are in area with a sibling at the school, children that live in area, children that live out of area with a sibling and then all of the children. That's an example. That's not going to be applicable for all schools. All of that information is on uh, our website and the school's website um, about the school's criteria. So it looks at all the children, all the schools and the school places matches it against the criteria so and it will go down can we give them their first choice yes or no if if no can we give them the second can we give them the third fourth fifth sixth and if we're unable to give you any of those then we'll make that not placed offer so i kept that quite simple uh but it, but effectively it looks at everything fairly equally uh, and based on all the information that's relevant to the school, your children and that oversubscription criteria. So I'm just going to look at have I included. Oh, I've lost where I am now. Oh, bear with me. Sorry, I'm just I think I must have accidentally uh, gone. I don't know if I've. I don't know, if I, I think I'm going to, have to start at the bottom because I've lost my place. So there isn't really a difference between catchment area and priority area. I think we like to use both terminologies because, um, you know, some of us might know it is different, but generally they are exactly the same thing. Priority, catchment, local school. It's the school that is, uh, if you like, that's. Um, planned as being the local or catchment priority school or your address. So I live 50 metres away from my local school and I only want to apply to that one. Is it really worth putting multiple preferences? So that's a good question and the answer I'm going to give you is you might only live 50 metres away. However, is it your priority school? Check it on the map. If it is your priority school, then obviously there's a very good chance that your child will get into that school, but it's not a given because we don't know how many children. Until you've all applied, we don't know how many, uh, and we can try and predict, but you know we can never fully uh, be accurate in that prediction. So my answer to you is, check that it is your catchment priority school. Um, if it is, then obviously have that. Well, it's going to be your first choice or preference anyway. Also consider a backup plan. So if worst case scenario, you didn't get that score because, you know, um, for whatever reason, I don't know, a house is. No, I won't. I won't say that. That's silly. Sorry. Apply for that as your number one, but also have a backup plan. If the worst came to the worst and you didn't get that score, where else would your child like to go? So my answer is. If you possibly can, please apply for at least one of that just to give you a bit of a, uh, a backup plan. 
my son is going to apply for grammar school, should we apply for both? So Warwickshire, you have six preferences. Um, I'm, I'm making an assumption that you're a Warwickshire parent. Obviously, other, other counties, I don't know how many preferences you can have. But in Warwickshire, you can choose your grammar schools and you can choose non-grammar schools. You've got six preferences. Um, and as some school grammar schools only take boys or only take girls, you can't apply for six grammar schools um, and therefore you can have some uh, non grammar schools on there too. Uh, so what happens if you don't get any of your chosen or preference schools um, and the school that you're offered is uh, uh, a far distance away? So the answer to that question is you're very likely to get free school transport. Um, you still will have the opportunity to appeal and we'll keep you on the waiting list for your preference schools. Um, however, as a backup plan, do apply for free school transport as it's very likely if you can't offer you any preference schools, that free school transport will be if you live in Warwickshire. Sorry, I should just say most of my advice or all of my advice will be based on you being a Warwickshire resident. Uh, uh, if there's only if there are only four schools that you can apply for six, um, well, obviously we've got lots of schools in Warwickshire. You've got up to six preferences, but if you only want to apply for four, not a problem. Uh, is there a limit distance wise to schools you can apply for? No. Uh, obviously, your catchment school will have uh, that preordained area um, if your school has a catchment area, because obviously there will be some schools that may not have a catchment area. Although I can't think of a school that does it, but I, uh, I am trying to think about a lot right now. You can apply for any school in Warwickshire, regardless of where you live. In fact, even if you don't live in Warwickshire, and we have families that are going to move into Warwickshire that apply from Kent, for example, or or um, uh, I'm trying to think of another destination, Cornwall. So they will apply to their home authority. So somebody living in Cornwall will apply to them for a Warwickshire school. That will come to us, obviously, it'll say a long distance, uh, but ultimately you can apply. It's not. Um, it's not. It is a viable thing that you can do. Obviously, we can never guarantee a school place. And as soon as you move, if you are planning on moving into Warwickshire, we would we would need that proof of address to uh, then change your address to Warwickshire. So is there a list of schools with extra SEN support or resource bases in Warwickshire? So this is where you need to do your research. Um, I haven't got a list that I can think of on the top of my head. All schools will talk about that. What resources that you've they've got. So I know uh, Trinity School in Leamington uh, had a resource provision, as does Rugby Free School, secondary school. However, that's just two that I can think of on the spot. What I would say is go and do the research. This is where it's really over to you guys. Uh, you know, um, we don't know all the things that you're thinking about necessarily. So that's why we really, really want you to spend that time to look at all the things that are important to you and your child. So if you have a non-priority school at the top of your list, but don't get that choice, and I, am I disadvantaged for any of the preference? Absolutely not, no. It, simply doesn't work like that. Uh, we literally go through your preferences one by one. So we don't care. Sorry, it's not that we don't care. We don't. It doesn't matter um, if you like in in what order you put your schools. We will literally go through them one by one, looking at that criteria, uh, looking at all the applications, looking at the distance and, and all of those things. And we will literally go number one. Can we offer it? Yes or no? No. Number two. So it's really irrelevant. You are not disadvantaged. Uh, you know, we don't go in there and go, oh, you know, that's a bit naughty. They didn't apply for that school. It's literally free of opinion, free of any kind of um, 
you know, personal opinion or anything like that. It is simply done fairly and equally one by one. Um, and we always try and give you the highest preference that we can. 94% families this year got their first, second or third. I'm just having a look. So if a child has not got their first choice, do children that have put the second choice as a first choice get priority over the ch child that has put it as their second choice? Oh gosh, I'm trying to think of I understand that question. Um, no, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't work like that because it's all looked at fairly and equally, but I'm not quite. I'm going to leave that question if you don't mind, because I don't want to give any wrong information and I'm not fully sure I understand that question. All I can just reiterate is we go through allocation fairly and equally one by one. Um, you know, looking at all of the children, looking at all of the criteria, looking at all of the places. So please be reassured, um, you know, if you know, we, we ask you to make sure you give us all the information that, that the school needs for that, um, for that oversubscription criteria, um, you know, and then you do your part, we'll do our part and make sure we do it all uh, equally. Um, right, let's just have a quick look. So if we're not in the catchment for our preferred choice, how can we increase our choices of getting admitted? Um, oh, right. Well, uh, this is the point where I say bribing teachers or admission staff doesn't work, unfortunately, because as I've mentioned before, fairly equally one by one, we do that allocation. Um, Joking, I mean, we would never suggest anybody would bribe anybody. So in truth, all we would say is check what information the school needs. Um, you know, siblings, feeder schools, uh, if your child has been previously looked after, uh, sorry, uh, so it might be adopted. All of that relevant information that's relevant to that school, make sure you've done your part in providing what's needed for the school. Oh, um, I completely forgot a really obvious one. Sorry, I do apologise, everybody. Uh, so if you want to go, if you would like your child to go to a faith school, you know, don't forget uh, to provide that evidence. So I think off the top of my head, an example could be if you wanted your child to go to a faith school that required baptism certificate. So you do your part, check what the school needs, make sure you provide that. Um, and that's really all we ask. Uh, unfortunately, um, at this point in time, you know, there isn't anything other than following the admission arrangements that you can do um, short of moving address, which, you know, unless you are planning on doing that, we, we wouldn't want anybody to move. If you're happy where you live, we wouldn't want anybody to do that. Uh, so just reiterate, check the admission arrangements, provide all of the information that's required and um, we'll really hope and try uh, to get you into your school. Obviously, we can never guarantee it, but we will we'll try. Where can I see the number of places for each school? So uh, find a school, uh, school website, uh, admission arrangements, all of it will be there. So that's or, or the other thought I think is I've completely forgot the Department for Education or or government website has a also a find a school type type website that again has all of the information on there. So trust me, there is so much information. It's probably information overload, um, but most people have, have asked us lots of questions and we've kind of accommodated everything we think you need. Uh, so, does it make a difference if you apply early? Yes, if you're applying on time. Uh, if you apply any time between the 1st of September and the 31st of October, you're considered as on time, and it doesn't make any difference between those time ranges. But sadly, if you uh, haven't applied on time uh, before the 31st of October and the other caveat to that is, I hope I say this right, 
you are so there, there is a, a slight extension for families moving into Warwickshire up to the 31st of December. We do give you some extra time providing you provide that proof of address as being a, as on time. But again, if that's your circumstances, please check our website because I'm very conscious uh, I might be talking quite fast. So apply on time between the 1st of September, the 31st of October. You're not disadvantaged or advantaged if you apply the 1st of September or the 31st of October. Where you would be potentially disadvantaged is applying after that deadline, the 31st of October, because your application would be uh, considered late. Um, and that always breaks our hearts because, you know, sometimes families might have forgotten or, or whatever reason. Please be assured we will do everything we can but it just makes it harder uh, for us to guarantee, you know, a school of your choosing. Um, and just to mention again, if you're applying or moving into Warwickshire um, and you haven't applied on time, we do have a slight extension to that deadline up to the end of December. But don't just take my word for it now. Please go onto our website or give us a call just to check uh, what that looks like because uh, there are some additional steps. I think, I think I'm just about there with answering all of the questions. So if your child lives 50-50, so we, we see this um, some of the time where, uh, you know, children have a uh, blended family, so they live with mum and dad, um, but separately or, or mum and mum, you know, or parents separately and or dad and dad, sorry, just to, I don't, you know, I'm not um, being, uh, sorry, I don't want to say. Um, if child lives with parents who live separately, um, we do ask that the parents agree between them where you would like the child to go and make that one application. We really don't want to be able to, sorry, we really don't want to be able, we really don't want to become involved within family disputes. Um, you know, you have got things like uh, courts, if you really can't decide, uh, and we have got guidance online. So let me keep that advice quite generic. If your child lives between parents who live separately, we ask, regardless of the living arrangements, we ask that you try and agree between yourselves what, where you would like the child um, to go and what that application should look like. Um, if in doubt, we have got advice online, uh, but also you may wish to think about legal advice. And I feel really sad ending on that question, so I'm going to try and see if I can find, a, you know, because we don't see too many of these um, cases. So, you know, we appreciate it is a very small number. So let me. If you if we are living in Warwickshire and apply for grammar school in London, can we still apply to Warwickshire County Council? Absolutely, yes. So I'll be very clear. I have been biased towards Warwickshire schools today because they're all amazing. However, Regardless of uh, what school you would like to apply for, if you live in Warwickshire, apply for us. We've got all the schools. Um, we should have all the schools uh, in England that you can apply for. And don't worry, we will contact that school, uh, sorry, that local authority to, to give them your application. So if you live in Warwickshire, apply to us, regardless of what school you would like, um, you know, uh, that's fine. Sorry, it does have to be a school that's not private. Sorry, I just realised I don't want you to think you can apply for any school or a special school. It has to be a school that um, that accepts local authority local authority application. And if you don't live in Warwickshire, not not a problem. You're equally welcome to apply for Warwickshire schools. You just have to do it through your home local authority where you pay your council tax to. OK, Woo. 
oh, I really uh, I'm going to have um, a lots of water after this. I can barely feel my throat. Um, um, so so from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to say a massive thank you to you all for coming. Um, I hope this has been useful and if there's anything we haven't been able to help you with today, please be assured, contact us uh, at Warwickshire Admissions on our Warwickshire County Council website or give us a call, well, call us, uh, email us, whichever way we are here to help. We're here to help uh, and we really want to get you your child into their um, preferred or preference school so we're here to help um, and just a massive thank you uh, and take care everybody take care